Are you going to be getting stationed at Norfolk Naval Station or Oceana? Or are you just moving to Hampton Roads and trying to decide on which, which of the seven cities you want to live in? Well, one of the most important factors uh, determining whether, where you want to live is cost of living. Today I'm going to be going over the cost of living in Suffolk, Virginia. Everything from median home prices to property taxes, even personal property taxes, and several more things. So if that's the decision that you might be facing soon, stick around and check out my video. What's going on? My name is Jason Edwards. I'm a local realtor here in Hampton Roads, Virginia. If you're looking for a channel that goes over what it's like to live, eat, sleep, play, find all the activities and buy real estate anywhere in the Hampton Roads area or Northeast North Carolina, then like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because I'll be uploading a new video every single week about what it's like to live here in Hampton Roads. I'm getting calls and texts every single day and I love it. So if you have any questions or concerns before making your move down here to Hampton Roads, send me a text, give me a call, shoot me an email, send me a Facebook message, because I'd be happy to help you with your move down here to Hampton Roads. So talking about cost of living anywhere, one of the first things you wanna talk about is home prices. In Suffolk, uh, the median home price <clears throat> over the last year is about 356,000. That's up from uh, 2020 from about 325. So obviously that's, that's the median. Uh, there are houses less expensive, there are houses more expensive. Um, so it really depends on what you're looking for, how many bedrooms, location in Suffolk, because there is quite a uh, wide range of areas from all the way from rural to essentially suburban uh, subdivisions. So depending on where you want to be, what you're looking for, that's obviously going to determine your um, price range. But like I said, the median is right around 356 right now as of 20, the end of 2022, which kind of falls right around the middle of the whole Hampton Roads area. There are a few of the towns, a few of the cities that are less than Suffolk as far as median home prices. And there are, there are a couple that are higher than Suffolk. Um, so it's, it's kind of, it's pretty close to the middle, maybe a little bit above. Something else to consider when talking about the cost of living is property taxes. So for Suffolk, the property taxes are about $1.09 per $100 of assessed value. Essentially, what that means is uh, for a $300,000 house, your property taxes are gonna be about $3,270 a year. So if you don't know, uh, when you're calculating your monthly payment on a mortgage, you're gonna pay your, uh, pro your principal, <laughs> Your principal and your interest make up the um, two main parts of your mortgage payment, but then also your taxes and your um, homeowner's insurance. And the, the taxes and the homeowner's insurance get put into an escrow account and then they pay those two things uh, when, the time is, when the time comes. So that's going to increase your um, monthly payment, your monthly mortgage payment, depending on what you're paying in taxes. And again, just like with median home price, uh, property taxes in Suffolk are right around the middle of the road for as far as Hampton Roads goes with the, all seven cities. It's pretty much maybe a little bit above the middle, but it's pretty close to the middle of what you're, what you're going to pay, what you can expect to pay. The third thing I want to talk about when talking about cost of living is utility costs. Obviously, that is going to vary quite a bit depending on the size of your house, uh, how, much of, how much electric, water, gas, et cetera, you, you and your family use. Um, so it's gonna vary greatly, but on average, uh, Suffolk is just a little bit below the national average. So you can expect to pay approximately what you would pay on average, nationally, obviously, again, depending on usage uh, and, you know, certain things like if you've got gas heat, your gas is going to probably be higher in the winter and your electric will be higher in the summer for your air conditioning, things like that. Might use more, more water in the summer for watering your lawn or 
you know, filling up pool for the kids if you've got them or anything like that. Anything that's going to obviously increase usage of a particular utility is going to increase your cost. The fourth thing that I want to talk about is tolls. Depending on where you work and where you live in Suffolk, um, you may have to pay tolls. Well, work and play, I guess, wherever you're planning to, to go frequently, you're gonna more than likely pay tolls. There are ways at this time to get around uh, the tolls, but you're probably gonna be driving a little bit longer, so then you're gonna be paying in gas. Either way, um, obviously, it is an expense. One thing to consider also, no matter where you're gonna live in Hampton Roads or where you work, getting an easy pass. I highly recommend it, especially if you travel even semi-regularly because the difference between the tolls you pay with an easy pass and the tolls you pay without an easy pass are pretty significant, as you can see right here. Next on the list is personal property taxes. Uh, if you're active duty military, you don't have to pay it. At least in Suffolk, all you have to do is send your, a copy of your LES, your most recent LES, to the city commissioner each year and they'll, um, they'll remove you from, or exempt you from having to pay the personal property tax. And let me tell you, from going from being active duty for so long and then I retired in 2020 and now I have to pay those personal property taxes, they hurt. Um, you gotta pay them on everything from planes, personal planes, boats, um, personal vehicles, RVs, manufactured homes, and each of the rates varies. Uh, but for, for vehicles, for personal vehicles, it's about, it's $4.25 per $100 of the current value of the vehicle. Uh, and I, I believe they go by Blue Book, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, so essentially, if you had about a $20,000 vehicle, you're gonna pay about $850 a year for those personal property taxes. So that they can kind of sneak up on you too. Uh, you don't, I, at least for me, I don't really think about it and then I get that bill in the mail. And it used to be, you know, I didn't have to worry about it, but now, I have to pay them and they're actually due, I think they're actually due today. So I need to, after I do this, go, get down there and pay it. Also, I am going to put a link below for the personal property tax rates uh, for Suffolk. So if you're, if you're interested in taking a look at the different rates for the different um, types of vehicles or, or manufactured home, like I said, the link below, uh, take a look. Another thing to consider when talking about cost of living is gas prices. Pretty much all of us have vehicles and pretty much all of us drive. <clears throat> Suffolk is not a very walkable or bikeable area. So more than likely, and another thing, it also doesn't have the best um, public transportation either. There, there is some, but it's not, it's not great. Not as easy to use as some of the other cities in, uh, in Hampton Roads. But anyway, uh, currently, as of the beginning of December 2022, um, the gas stations that I drove by was between, was between about 315 and 320 for regular unleaded, which is not horrible. Uh, obviously, it's been better, but fairly in, in fairly recent memory, it was considerably higher. We never went above $5 here, um, but we got awfully close and I think I think right now diesel is like 499 here so that's another thing when when considering moving to Suffolk that you definitely want to consider especially if you are military getting stationed at uh, Naval Station Norfolk or something like that because you're going to be driving quite a bit so the last thing I'm going to talk about is I'm going to kind of group stuff together because I can't really go over some of these things because they're going to vary so greatly Things like food, um, entertainment, activities, things like that, child care if necessary. Uh, obviously that's gonna really vary a lot from person to person. So looking at a, an average, um, the cost is 
essentially a little bit less than maybe Chesapeake and Virginia Beach, a little bit more than Norfolk, Portsmouth, Hampton, and Newport News. Uh, it's just slightly less than the national average. So, you know, what you paid in other places, uh, you're likely going to spend approximately the same here. Obviously, it's changed over the last eight months or so with the considerable of inflation that we've had. Uh, the cost of everything has gone up, so, you know, but that's nationwide. So that shouldn't change too much from where you are now to coming to Suffolk or the Hampton Roads area. So that's my list of things to consider when looking at the cost of living in Suffolk, um, in anywhere really, but specific to Suffolk for this video. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have anything that I should have added to the list, please drop a comment below. Uh, also, if you're looking to move to the Hampton Roads area, I have a, a buyer's guide that I can get to you for free. Uh, I would be more than happy to help you out. If, you, if you're interested in that buyer's guide, it, it goes over things like what things to do, things not to do, kind of gives a, a broad overview of the, the home buying process. It's great for first time home buyers. If that's something that interests you, drop a comment below and I'll make sure that you get, the, get a copy of the buyer's guide. If you like this video, please like it here on, on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel if you're looking for more information like this about moving to Hampton Roads. And hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload new content, which is going to be weekly. It's going to be all about moving and living in Hampton Roads.